count. I'm told we are ready once again to give this a try. The video released uh, from the White House concurrent to the statement on Twitter that the president would indeed endorse Hillary Clinton. For more than a year now, across thousands of miles in all 50 states, tens of millions of Americans have made their voices heard. Today, I just want to add mine. I want to congratulate Hillary Clinton on making history as the presumptive Democratic nominee for President of the United States. Look, I know how hard this job can be. That's why I know Hillary will be so good at it. In fact, I don't think there's ever been someone so qualified to hold this office. She's got the courage, the compassion, and the heart to get the job done. And I say that as somebody who had to debate her more than 20 times. Even after our own hard-fought campaign, in a testament to her character, she agreed to serve our country as Secretary of State. And from the decision we made in the Situation Room to get bin Laden, to our pursuit of diplomacy and capitals around the world, I have seen her judgment. I've seen her toughness. I've seen her commitment to our values up close. I've seen her determination to give every American a fair shot at opportunity, no matter how tough the fight was. That's what has always driven her, and it still does. So I want those of you who've been with me from the beginning of this incredible journey to be the first to know that I'm with her. I am fired up, and I cannot wait to get out there and campaign for Hillary. I also want to thank everybody who turned out to vote and who worked so hard for our candidates. This has been a hard-fought race. I know some say these primaries have somehow left the Democratic Party more divided. Well, you know, they said that eight years ago as well. But just like eight years ago, there are millions of Americans, not just Democrats, who've cast their ballots for the very first time. And a lot of that is thanks to Senator Bernie Sanders, who has run an incredible campaign. I had a great meeting with him this week, and I thanked him for shining a spotlight on issues like economic inequality and the outsized influence of money in our politics and bringing young people into the process. Embracing that message is going to help us win in November. But more importantly, it'll make the Democratic Party stronger and it will make America stronger. Secretary Clinton and Senator Sanders may have been rivals during this primary, but they're both patriots who love this country and they share a vision for the America that we all believe in. An America that's hopeful, an America that's big hearted, an America that is strong and fair and gives every child the same chance that we had. Those are the values that unite us as Democrats. Those are the values that make America great. Those are the values that are going to be tested in this election. And if we all come together in common effort, I'm convinced we won't just win in November. We'll build on the progress that we've made and we will win a brighter future for this country that we love. So much to talk about there. The uh, uh, video from President Obama at the White House going along the accompaniment to his endorsement of Hillary. Uh, you are looking at tape from inside the uh, uh, Leader Reid's office. Uh, these are always highly, oh, this is live, I'm told. Let's listen in and see what uh, Harry Reid's saying. What do you want to tell Senator Reid? And Senator Reid, what do you want to tell Senator Sanders? Okay, you guys, we're not going to take any questions. That's kind of a deal that I made, and Bernie said that was okay with him for now. A lot of time to answer questions, but not now. Thanks, everybody. So as you come back to us in the hall. Everyone, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Everyone, please, let's get back out through the doors. Interesting case here. Um, uh, as I was starting to say, these kinds of things are always uncomfortable, whether it's... Uh, 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 foes, enemies, you know, Obama and Putin, or people on the same team. And this is as close to the same team as possible, though as people uh, point out often, Bernie Sanders has not been a Democrat. He has been a socialist who caucuses with the Democrats for the purpose of uh, counting noses and voting on the Hill and is in effect a Democrat given his uh, voting record, but he is an independent on the uh, rundown of votes and that is how he has run. Um, as Chris Matthews put it the other night, he's not a party guy, 
Um, but there is no hiding what the president took on forthrightly in that video, how many people he has brought to the political process, many of them for the first time. Millions of them have mobilized uh, this extraordinary Bernie Sanders campaign. The Clinton campaign did not see this challenge coming from Bernie Sanders. Reporters two years ago were using words like coronation to describe her path to the Democratic nomination. It was anything but. White House correspondent Kristen Welker is out on the uh, North Lawn today uh, where she was uh, earlier today. Kristen, uh, one interesting bit of wording in the president's video, it's likely I'm reading too much into this, but the timestamp on his meeting with Senator Sanders, he says, this week I met with Senator Sanders. It was really more like two, three hours ago. Uh, I wonder if it's possible this video was planned to come out later, perhaps uh, over the weekend, perhaps tomorrow. I wonder if something caused it to be rushed. We have seen the White House briefing put off to accommodate this and all the resulting coverage of it. What are your thoughts? Well, Brian, that's a good point. Look, we think that the video was taped at some point uh, this week, and we've gotten guidance that an endorsement could come as early as this week. But you're right to point out that there is that date stamp of the Washington, D.C. primary. Uh, and of course, Senator Sanders not expected to drop out of the race until after everyone here has their votes. What I have heard continuously throughout the course of my conversations here at the White House with the Clinton campaign is that they want to see this process happen sooner rather than later. What I think happened, Brian, is that the meeting went well today with Senator Sanders. He came out. Uh, Chuck Todd has been using the term orderly. He gave those remarks that were clearly pre-written. And I think that the White House wanted to get this process started. Is it possible uh, they weren't sure if this video would come out today, tomorrow, over the weekend? I think there was a question mark around how the meeting went. It is possible, and again, we're going to get more details when Press Secretary Josh Earnest comes to the podium, it's possible that President Obama asked for Senator Sanders' blessing, in essence, to release this video today. I expect that that's one of the questions that Josh Earnest is going to get. So why is there so much eagerness to get this process underway? Well, because you look at the national polls. Secretary Clinton right now locked in a very tight race with Donald Trump. And we also know that about a third of Senator Sanders supporters right now saying that they're not prepared to support Secretary Clinton. So they want to get this process underway. They want President Obama to get into the game. He is eager to get into the game. There's no doubt about that. This is for some what personal for him, I think, for all of the reasons that you were discussing with Chris Matthews a little bit earlier. Brian. Kristen Welker out on the North Lawn of the White House, uh, a sharp eyed member of our NBC News staff, as if there's any other kind, has noticed the uh, tie the president is wearing in the tape released today that goes along with the uh, endorsement is the tie the president was wearing to work on Tuesday at the White House. Peter Alexander is inside the briefing room in the West Wing where we're going to see at minimum the press secretary here in a few minutes. And Peter, our reporting seldom delves into menswear, but this is a case <laughs> where it's interesting to know or at least theorize and speculate when this was put on video. Yeah, no, I have now confirmed with an aide here at the White House that President Obama taped that recorded message that we've now played on Tuesday of this week. So it is correct if you match up the ties. That was the same day he was meeting with the Prime Minister of India. Prime Minister Modi was here, and at some point during that day, that's when the president also recorded this message, in effect, saying, I'm with her endorsing Hillary Clinton. The aide tells me that while it was taped on Tuesday, they wanted to wait until, as it was communicated to me, they believed it was an appropriate time to release it. Obviously, after what must have been a positive meeting behind closed doors today, the White House deemed that this was that appropriate time, Brian. Well, that'll be the subject of much speculation, and we'll listen very carefully to what Josh Ernest uh, says about it. But um, uh, some people, I'm guessing, will wonder sure. if it was a positive meeting, if it did all go as planned, and uh, if this was the plan all along. 
I think you're right. I mean, a lot of people right now obviously thought this would be the opportunity to give Bernie Sanders the breathing room he needed. He came out. I was at the what we describe as the gaggle, about 100 members of the media there with a crush of cameras trying to give Bernie Sanders the opportunity to describe that meeting. He said he will participate in this uh, in the primary taking place here in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday, saying he wants his issues to go all the way to the convention, that he looks forward to a meeting in his words in the very near future with Hillary Clinton, with which led all of us to believe that they would allow the process to play out until after Tuesday rather than step on Bernie Sanders' toes. And as much as it may potentially step on Bernie Sanders' toes, as important as what it does to the toes of the millions of Americans, Democrats and independents, who supported Sanders himself. In effect, Bernie Sanders doesn't get the glow of this private meeting with President Obama today. The news cycle rapidly shifts to the story all about President Obama endorsing Hillary Clinton. How does that sit with so many Sanders supporters, those who have had problems with Hillary Clinton, have not been supportive of her campaign? Their reaction is the one we've yet to see. And of course, the math was not on Bernie Sanders' side. And of course, uh, Hillary Clinton remembers, as she is uh, 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 prone to point out, remembers what that is like. Uh, President Obama remembers what it was like to have a robust challenger all the way down to the wire. This kind of thing happens in politics, except, as you mentioned, that the, the, the Sanders campaign was a real movement. No, I mean, that's exactly right. In fact, I was speaking to a Republican pollster in the course of the last 24 hours, and while conventional wisdom, because Donald Trump touts this so often, has been that all the energy is on the Republican side in this race, that he was bringing out more primary voters than the party had seen in its history, that he was getting more votes than any other Republican candidate in primary history. This Republican pollster said to me, the fact of the matter is, while in December, what they describe as voter intensity, the energy was with the Republicans, plus eight, to use the the language that they used. They were eight points in effect ahead of the Democrats in terms of energy that when they most recently polled where voter intensity or the energy, the enthusiasm was in this race within the course of the last several weeks, they say it had shifted dramatically to plus six, as they describe it, for the Democrats, largely because of the liberal and moderate Democrats that have been behind Bernie Sanders. So that's the energy. The question is, can that energy, with the help of President Obama, be redirected to Hillary Clinton? in here or will there be some frustration that this is the way that this moment was handled and perhaps that energy is diluted and it doesn't go to Hillary Clinton who of course badly needs it to try to defeat Donald Trump this fall. All right, Peter, thank you. Uh, Bill Clinton, we've now learned, is on the board in terms of uh, his own statement on uh, Twitter. It is uh, short and sweet. Thank you, Barack Obama, uh, on behalf of his wife, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the uh, uh, endorsement. Let's go to Capitol Hill.